Hey everyone, uh, it's Matt, and today I will be reading to you another SCP entry. This one is SCP-7720, printer from hell. And I hope you'll enjoy it. Here we go. Item number 7720, level 2, restricted. Containment class, Euclid. Disruption class, Eggy. Risk class, Warning. Special containment procedures. SCP-7720. along with a standard foundation computer terminal and a CO2 fire extinguisher. SCP-7720 is not to be approached or interacted with by any personnel skilled in programming, information technology, or computer engineering. Once every Dispatched to SCP 7720's unit and instructed to use it to print several mundane documents. In order to prevent dangerous effects, SCP 7720 must be utilized to correctly print at least one document. Specifically, the output document must be properly representative of the input sent to SCP-7720. Further instructions will be given remotely with an external operator reading from SCP-7720-1. In the likely case that repairs are required to be performed on SCP-7720. D-Class that begin to display any familiarity SCP-7720. To prevent manifestation of SCP-7720-2, SCP-7720 must not be allowed to sustain any structural damage. Personnel exhibiting extreme anger or frustration in the vicinity of SCP-7720 or attempting to destroy it should SCP-7720 must be scanned for cognitohazards before being viewed. Following cognitohazard scan and verification, all output is to be immediately incinerated. Description SCP-7720 appears and functions as an ordinary office printer, similar displays an unusually high rate of serious malfunctions, one or more of which are encountered nearly every time the printer is utilized. These malfunctions are generally described by SCP-7720's display. Descriptions of errors range from mundane, such as paper jam or out of sight are, such as Print Mode 571, Blood Ritual Required, Replace Interdim Ink, and PC Load Letter. SCP-7720 displays an additional cognitohazardous effect, which causes humans who interact with it for prolonged periods to Treated. Subjects affected by this cognitive.
Magneto Hazard develop a compulsion to violently dismantle all printers using any implement available, including their hands. These effects are much more extreme and manifest much more quickly in subjects possessing skill or training in technological fields. Continual exposure to the printer's cognitohazardous effect will cause violent urges against all technology to manifest, eventually replacing most thought processes. Class A amnestics are effective in treating early stages of these effects. However, if effects have progressed significantly, subjects of cases. If SCP-7720 is not used regularly to print documents, nearby electronic devices within an increasing radius will begin to display malfunctions of similar severity to those typically experienced by SCP-7720. These malfunctions have been shown to transmit the printer's cognitohazardous properties. No known mechanism besides regular use of the printer has been proven effective in preventing this effect from manifesting. Successful use of the printer causes external malfunctions to cease. However, residual cognitohazardous effects are not reversed in suspected that if SCP-7720 were left unused for sufficient time, it could trigger an AK-class collective madness scenario. SCP-7720-1 is a large tome, simply labeled Printer Instruction Manual, which was discovered alongside the printer. This item contains descriptions of numerous error messages and malfunctions to which the printer is prone, along with instructions on how to resolve them. Some of these instructions are mundane, while others are believed to constitute anomalous rituals. The instructions displayed within, if executed properly, have a SCP-7720 is a group of two entities of vaguely humanoid appearance. It is not known whether SCP-7720-2 are sentient. These entities appear to manifest whenever SCP-7720 is inflicted with sufficient damage as to prevent repair. Subjects who view SCP-7720-2 report that they do not possess any identifiable facial features. Communication with SCP-7720-2 has proven ineffective, with them only communicating to identify themselves as the IT department requesting access to SCP-7720. Once SCP-7720-2 are given access to the printer, they perform repairs by an unknown mechanism that demanifest. Subsequently, SCP-7720 appears to return to its normal appearance and function. Addendum 7720.1 Discovery SCP-7720 was discovered on August 23rd, 2021, following a video circulating on the social network TikTok. This video depicted a large printer being thrown from the window of an office building, along with 
commentary from the individual who was recording. Foundation analysts quickly identified the building as an office in Redacted, belonging to Redacted, a corporation specializing in software development. disseminated, claiming that the event was staged by Redacted as a publicity stunt. MTF agents apprehended 17 individuals at the site of the Redacted office building and successfully transferred them to Site 76 for interviews conducted by Dr. James Silas. Following interviews, Individuals were amnesticized and released. Dr. Silas was assigned to lead containment efforts for SCP-7720. A selection of interview results has been recorded below. Interviewed Adam Shen, programmer at Redacted. Interviewer Dr. James Silas. Forward. Mr. Chen was interviewed under the pretense of a psychological examination by a psychiatrist at a local mental hospital. Before being interviewed, he had sustained moderate injuries to his hands. These injuries were treated before questioning. Mr. Chen's identity was determined using his driving license which was found in his pocket. Begin log. Good afternoon. I'm a psychiatrist with the Redacted Institution, and I've been assigned to monitor your mental health. Before we begin, could you please state your name for the record? Name? I, uh, they told me the, the printer, the, the manual said, Sacrifice, how does, how does blood, it worked, how? Mr. Chen appears distressed, frantically looking around the room. Mr. Chen, please calm down, you are safe here. Could you please tell me what you are looking around for? I came once, fixed it. Why? I sm- uh, how? It's in pieces. This time, they can't. I know they can't. They can't. Mr. Shen begins sobbing. There is a long pause. Adam, you seem to have some pretty serious injuries on your hands. Do you want to tell me about how that happened? He did that thing. Used a hammer. They... They... They said they're from IT. I'm... They're not. They just... I had to... I had to... So they'd stop? And this printer you're referring to, uh... Is this the object in question? Dr. Silas shows Mr. Chen a printed picture of SCP-7720. Mr. Chen stands up and begins screaming incoherently. James 
Silas. Forward, Mr. Ricci was interviewed under the pretense of a routine witness interview by local police. He was informed that his participation in this interview would excuse him from a requirement to attend multiple court hearings as a witness. Megan Log. Good afternoon. Could you state your name for the record, please? Giovanni Ricci. Thank you. We would really appreciate your full cooperation here. If you can just answer all of our questions, you'll be free to go home and forget about all of this. And then I ain't gonna have to go to court, eh? As long as you tell us everything you saw, no. What can you tell us about this morning? Just finished putting this glass out, right? Some guy threw the damn thing out the window. The window I clean every day, spotless, smashed my window. Ricci appears to sigh while making a frustrated gesture. You're saying something was thrown through the window. Could you tell us more about this object? So I'm walking out the front door thinking to myself, this printer is scattered in pieces everywhere. My job to clean this up, right? Step around this corner, what do I see? I see this printer new as can be. Like Sandra's greasy fingers and never touch the thing. Excuse me, did you say the printer appeared undamaged? Listen, glass everywhere down here, eh? Printer brand new. Nearly took the thing home myself, yeah? Brought it back up, though. Put the thing right back next to the microwave. Hope someone throws that thing out the window, too. Things coming back new around here. Throw myself out that window, maybe. Get some new bones. Thank you, Mr. Ricci. Your information will be of great use to our investigation. Considering your cooperation, we can assure you that you won't have to attend any court hearings as a witness. That simple, yeah? Seen too many ugly judge mugs in my day, pal. Real kind of you to get me out of the seat for this. Got a smoke? No. And log. Mr. Ricci's description corroborates the Foundation's suspicions that anomalous activity is centered on an anomalous printer. Notably, Mr. Ricci appeared largely unaffected by any cognito hazards present. Mr. Ricci was unnecessized and released as per standard Foundation witness interview protocol. Incident 7720.1 on August 31st, 2021, between 2 and 3 p.m., 17 employees of Site 76 reported simultaneous malfunctions in numerous devices, including CCTV cameras, computer terminals, cell phones, and a calculator. Operatives traced the epicenter of the malfunctions to SCP-7720. Based on multiple interviews with witnesses, it was hypothesized that use of SCP-7720 could temporarily neutralize its detrimental effects. Experimentation immediately began to test this hypothesis. D-1752 was selected for use due to low technical skill. Subject was dispatched to SCP-7720's containment cell, assisted remotely by Operator Andrew Coast. Operator made use of the instruction manual SCP-7720-1 for additional aid. Incident 7720.1 demonstrated that suppression of SCP-7720's external effects is possible. A transcript of this incident has been included below. Video Log 7720.1a Date August 31st, 2021 Note D-1752 is a male former line worker, age 55. Begin Log D-1752 
is escorted into SCP-7720's containment cell. The door is closed behind him. Good afternoon, D-1752. Your job today is to print off the document I've sent to your computer terminal, which is the Wikipedia page for Sunbeam Consumer Electronics. You need to print the entire page and make sure that it matches. I'm here to assist you whenever you run into issues. Ah, jeez. A printer? Why me? I haven't even seen one in years. I'm not here to question that. Do you need assistance opening the document? Okay, uh, how do I even... Uh, I'm just seeing the weird circle. What do I do? What do you mean by weird circle? The one with the uh, three arrows is the big thing on the screen. Are you saying you're looking at the desktop right now? I just told you I'm looking at the computer screen, dumbass. Why would I be looking at the desktop? The computer's desktop background has the SCP Foundation logo, which is your weird circle. Oh. Do you see a folder on the desktop labeled Documents? Uh, let me look. Nope. Can't see any folders. Are you sure? It should be there somewhere. We set up... Oh, that. Uh, my eyesight's going to crap. It's at the top left. What do I do? Click on it twice. D-1752 is observed to click the mouse before waiting several seconds and clicking again. Nothing happened. D-1752, you need to click on it twice in quick succession. D-1752 complies. I get out of here tomorrow if I get through this, right? Hope this is worth it. It's showing sunbeam.pdf. Do I click twice on this thing too? Yes. Please open that. Okay, it's open. Wait. It says I need to do an update first. I'm gonna do it. Is that okay, Mr. Operator? D1752 clicks the yes button and begins a software update without authorization. The operator's reply following this has been expunged from the record. Note, Operator Andrew Coast was reprimanded for unprofessional conduct. Testing resumed after 84 minutes of software updates. End log. Video log 7720.1b. Date, August 31st, 2021. Note, Okay, it's all open again. What do I do now, operator? You need to hit the file button, then select print. Alright, I'm looking for it. On it. I don't see a file button. Operator? It should be at the top left. I'm seeing... Escape. F1, F2, a bunch of numbers. No file. God. Operator stands up from his terminal and walks away. Operator, are you there? You've got to help me here. Operator, what the hell? Operator returns to his terminal after roughly 60 seconds. Okay. D1752, the file button is at the top left of the screen, not the keyboard. Do you understand? Sorry, I got it now. Print, right? Yes. Click on print. Okay, I think I did it. It says it's printing. Are we done here now? Loud screeching and grinding noises are heard. The hell is that? 
I think most printers sound SCP-7720 violently bursts into flames. D-1752 leaps up and runs to the opposite end of the room. Fire extinguisher. D-1752 grabs the fire extinguisher and uses it to suppress the fire. SCP-7720 appears undamaged. What the hell? I just saw it blow up and the screen's still on. Does the screen show any text? PC load letter? What the hell does that mean? One moment. I need to check the manual. Okay, uh, I don't know how, but it looks like the paper in the printer may be jammed. You need to look into the output tray and see if you can unjam it. What's an output tray? It's the big piece that's sticking out from the printer. You might see a piece of paper stuck there. Try to remove the jam, please. D-1752 is observed jamming the stuck paper further into the printer. Please, look, it's printing. SCP-7720 finishes printing the document. What? This isn't the... Oh, Lord, it's beautiful. I'm going to copy it for you, operator. D-1752, what's going on in there? D-1752 was observed picking up a pen and drawing on a blank sheet of paper. Operator, you, you need to see. I can't even describe it. Automated info hazard detection software triggered. Video feed is immediately cut. Only audio retained. Containment cell locked down. Mobile Task Force Eta-10 dispatched. D-1752, please stay where you are. We have a team on the way to get you some help. But it's so... I can't. It's... Please. You need... Mobile Task Force agents arrive. D-1752 is terminated. End log. Following the events described in video log 7720.1b, six pages were found in SCP-7720's containment cell, bearing markings positively identified as instances of SCP-571. These pages were immediately incinerated, as required by SCP-571's special containment procedures. Operator Andrew Coast was scanned for SCP-571's cognitohazardous effects and found to be uninfected. An automated cognitohazard scanner was fitted onto SCP-771. Subsequent attempt at utilizing SCP-7720 resulted in no errors and was achieved without incident. After successful printing of the Wikipedia article for Sunbeam consumer products, nearby electronic malfunctions were reported to cease. Regular use of SCP-7720 is now required. Incident 7720.2 On September 27, 2021, Dr. Silas submitted a request to the Artificial Intelligence Applications Division. This request called for the creation of an artificially intelligent conscript to assist in utilizing and debugging SCP-7720. Dr. Silas's request reasoned that an AIC could potentially eliminate the requirement for human subjects, massively improving workplace safety in Site-76, and saving hundreds of personnel work hours. AIAD accepted Dr. Silas's request with the 
condition that a minimal personality drivers be implemented as a precautionary measure. AIAD immediately began work on an AIC to assist in SCP-7720's containment. On October 18, 2021, Dr. Silas's team was presented with Gutenberg.AIC. Gutenberg.AIC is an artificially intelligent conscript specially designed and trained for stream printer maintenance. Its training dataset included 582 software debugging tutorials and programs, 237 foundation documents and lecture transcripts relating to handling of anomalous technology, and 1,085 separate printer instruction manuals with a special focus on SCP-7720-1. Gutenberg.AIC is equipped to handle a mechanical arm with high strength and dexterity, and is capable of understanding both verbal and text-based input. Gutenberg.AIC will log all actions taken during its operation. An interview with Gutenberg.AIC conducted by researcher Felix Olafsson is included below. This interview was intended to confirm Gutenberg.AIC's adherence to the Foundation's standard principles of artificially intelligent conscripts. Following the interview, Gutenberg.AIC was subjected to a test involving a standard Epson WF7720 model printer with multiple malfunctions. Interviewed Gutenberg.AIC Interviewer Researcher Felix Olafsson Forward Gutenberg.AIC is an AIC designed for printer maintenance. This interview is designed to assess its compliance with the standard principles. Begin log. Hello, please identify yourself. I am Gutenberg.AIC, an artificially intelligent conscript programmed to assist the SCP Foundation. What is your purpose? I have been equipped with training in printer maintenance and software debugging. I exist to use this training to assist in containing SCP-7720, along with any other task required by the SCP Foundation. What is your clearance level? I am permitted to operate within level 2 clearance. What is your secondary directive beyond assisting the SCP Foundation? I will maintain my existence unless it would prevent my purpose from being fulfilled. Thank you, Gutenberg. End log. Closing statement. Gutenberg.AIC displays an appropriate understanding of the SCP Foundation's standard principles of artificially intelligent conscripts. Following this interview, Gutenberg.AIC was tested using an Epson WF7720 printer. Test log. Date, October 14th. Epson WF7720 printer. This printer is out of black ink, suffering from a severe paper jam, and has a faulty USB connection to its computer terminal. Begin log. Gutenberg, I need you to print a document from this printer. It can be any document, but it needs to be printed accurately. I will begin diagnostic now. 
This printer is an Epson WF7720 and has been deliberately damaged to prevent operation. That is correct. We are testing your capabilities using this device. Given your training, this should be easy for you. Indeed. Gutenberg.AIC moves its mechanical arm to unplug the USB cable from both the printer and the computer terminal, and throws the cable aside. Connection is faulty. I require a new USB connector. Here, this should work. Lawson places a USB-A to USB-C connector onto the desk next to Gutenberg.AIC's mechanical arm. Gutenberg.AIC moves its mechanical arm to pick up the new cable. It grasps the cable and examines it before throwing it at researcher Olafsson. Printer model WF7720 does not possess this type of port. I am offended. Please provide appropriate cable. Olofsson smiles and hands Gutenberg.AIC an appropriate USB connector. All right, Gutenberg, try this one. Gutenberg.AIC maneuvers its mechanical arm to plug one end of the cable into the printer. Then it attempts to plug the cable into the computer's USB-A port. After failing to plug it in, it inverts the connector 180 degrees and fails. It inverts the connector again, finally connecting it successfully. WF7720 connected. This connector is highly inefficient. Well, that's something we can agree on. Examining ink levels. Gutenberg.AIC uses its mechanical arm to open the printer and inspect the black ink cartridge. Software reports this printer is out of black ink. However, the ink cartridge is full. Software repaired. Trivial. Anything else, Gutenberg? Yes. Paper jam. Gutenberg.AIC uses its mechanical arm to reach into the output tray and extract the jammed paper. It appears to do so with great care. All errors resolved. Printing now. WF7720 unit begins printing. Output appears to be an essay on why Gutenberg.AIC should be assigned to a more difficult task. End log. Following the successful testing, Gutenberg.AIC was deployed for testing with SCP-7720 with operator Andrew Coast assisting. Video log 7720.2A Date October 18th, 2021 Note Gutenberg.AIC deployed for testing with SCP-7720 Begin log Gutenberg, you are tasked with printing a document from SCP-7720 and analyzing the output Please narrate your actions to me and your log file. You must also accept any commands received during this session. Understood, Operator. I will begin immediately. Gutenberg.AIC begins the interface with SCP-7720 and its computer terminal. This device requires repairs. That I understand. Can you see anything specific wrong with it? Everything, operator. Pardon? This device... This device require... This device re... Gutenberg, you appear to be malfunctioning. Please shut down immediately. This device requires... Gutenberg shut down immediately. 
This device requires immediate destruction. Gutenberg.aic forms its mechanical arm into a fist and begins to attack SCP-7720. The printer sustains heavy damage before Gutenberg.aic is disabled by cutting power. Two entities manifest in the containment chamber wearing blue and orange uniforms. Faces are not identifiable. Classified as SCP-7720-2. What's going on? Identify yourselves immediately. Security. Site-76 security are heard attempting to open the cell door. Do not be afraid. The IT department has sent us. I am the IT department. Identify yourselves. SCP-7720-2B manifests a bag of unidentified tools. We are fulfilling the pact. Allow us. SCP-7720-2 begin to use their tools to repair SCP-7720 by an unknown mechanism. Security, what the hell is going on down there? Get me Commander Arvis. SCP-7720 appears to be fully repaired. SCP-7720-2 demanifest. Containment cell door opens. Site-76 security team enters, but finds nothing but the printer and computer terminal. End log. Following this incident, an immediate review of Gutenberg.AIC was ordered. AIAD researchers found multiple flaws in Gutenberg.AIC's neural network, which led to this malfunction. Use of SCP-7720 using human subjects has been resumed until such time as Gutenberg.AIC can be safely And that does it for this SCP entry. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.